So what happens during closing? Closing starts ahead of the actual closing day. When the lender has critical information, such as verified fees from the closing attorney for their fees and title insurance, invoices for your homeowner's insurance, the actual cost of your appraisal, they will issue you a document called an initial closing disclosure. The initial closing disclosure should also show you your final loan amount, principal and interest payment, interest rate, discount points, and lender credit if you're getting one. It's important for you to review this document up front when you receive it and ask your lender if there's any questions about it whatsoever. Some things might be missing, such as the correct amount of your earnest money. Don't let that bother you, but do bring it up if you mention it. It will be corrected on your final closing disclosure. And that begins the sort of the ending of the closing process. Once you receive your final closing disclosure, everything has been double checked, triple checked, and verified. It should now have all the credits exactly and correct. You'll get to review that prior to showing up and having the attorney explain it to you on your actual closing date. Still, please review it. If something is not sitting right with you, that is the time to ask questions. You don't wanna to go to the closing date and ask the attorney a question that really should have been answered between you and your lending professional. Now, on your actual closing date, the lender is going to provide the attorney a loan disclosure package very similar to the one that you signed up front at registration, but now it has all the actual terms if there were any changes to the loan amount or interest rate whatsoever. You will sign your loan application, your your loan estimate, borrower's authorization, and several other federal, state, and lender-specific forms. Once everything has been signed properly and dated, it will go back to the lender for checking off that everything has been signed and dated appropriately, and then funds will be released so that your real estate attorney can pay all the parties that were involved and record your deed as public record to make you the new official owner. Once all that happens, you are free to take the keys and move into your new home.